Well, it's funny because as soon as we had a few warm days, everything's coming to life. And that's yeah. what spring is. It's hope and anticipation. And I've chosen some of my garden favourites oh, that are coming flowers. out. I love spring flowers. But look, this is Forsythia, and, you, and we're going to see it up and down the country bursting into, into beautiful gold flowers. And the thing about uh, plants that flower in spring is they're as hard as nails. And if they're as hard right. as nails, they're easy to grow and generally cheaper than many of the more ah. difficult plants. And, of course, if you're putting plants like this into the garden, they come up every year, so it's just a, a one-short investment to bring so much colour. But I love this. It's gorgeous. Now, these little, this is little pussy willow. It's uh, so sweet. It's called the Kilmarnock willow, Salix capria pendula, and you get these, these marvellous, almost like little snowdrops of uh, furry catkins. How big will that get, like a tree size? Well, that'll stay that side, because what they do is they graft the top, the weeping part here, onto a stem, so you can get them at different heights. Ah. So you can grow that as a little pot nice. and then just trim it to shape, but it gives a, a great deal of colour. And, and there are other things like the skimmiers, and they've held these little buds all winter long uh, with, a, with a flush of evergreen foliage so it gives a lot of winter interest but right in the center there as the uh, spring flower. warms up these little buds are opening up and and that's the magic of, of spring uh, this is a little periwinkle uh, it's a nice creeping uh, uh, ground cover plant that uh, that tolerates uh, a great deal of shade and you get this marvellous, uh, uh, um, beautiful... Lovely colour, isn't it? But if you underplant with daffodils, you get this sprouting colour goes through the How vinca nice. and you get that lovely combination yeah, of the gold nice. and I the I love purple. a daffodil and a snowdrop they and push... a crocus. Oh, uh, anything... Are they narcissi or are they daffodils? Yes, they are. This is a little narcissus tater tate. That's the, the dwarf ones. You're quite right there, Billy. And well done, you. You plant them during the autumn and they come up in spring. Right. The issue you get, if you haven't planted them in autumn, you can buy them in pots. But I'll give you a bulb tip while I'm about. Have you ever had problems with squirrels coming up and eating your bulbs? Oh, hey, I'm I... nuts all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there it is. I get hold of a grater and a bit of soap, and you can get this soap free from most hotels. And as you <laughs> dig a hole, grate a bit of the soap in. And before you put the bulb in? As you, you put the, before you put the bulb in, and then after you put the bulb in, the squirrels will look for the bulbs by the scent of the bulbs, oh, and, of really? course, the, um, the perfume deters them, and the taste will too, so it's a, it's a good tip. It's a oh, good that's idea. a very good idea. OK. So we've got lots more colour here. I've got you some gloves. Would okay. you fancy doing a bit of planting? I'd and love you can take to. these home afterwards. So there's what, the so much other colours. <laughs> the glove. <laughs> if you, you can take the gloves. Uh, colour coordinates there with the campanula. But there's a whole lot of colours. We've got uh, primroses. What's we've that? got That's violas. Isn't that gorgeous? There's so many different varieties of uh, 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 primroses uh, uh, being cultivated now. But oh, help I don't yourself. know what to go with. Anything. Just choose. Oh. A secret here, Holly, is just to squeeze the bottom. If you right. squeeze the bottom of the yeah. pot, it teases them out and it enables them to get them out a lot and easier. And how much space do you need to put around them? Well, I think with a lot of them, you, you, either, you, you put them in so the foliage is just about touching. Look, Philip's well away there with nice colour coordination really there with the purple. Thank you, thank you. I'll thank give you. you another tip. If you've got lots of pots to plant, yeah. uh, get hold of a, a, an old um, a milk big? carton or something similar. I cut it at an angle so suddenly it becomes a compost scoop. Oh, and that that's works. And, and if you've got a dog, it's a pooper scoop. You... If, you've, if you've got a boat, it's a bailer. Are you meant to um, open these things up, or it doesn't matter? No, I wouldn't tease them apart. No. Just put them in like that. Philip's done already. I've done mine. Is that okay? It's not a race. So, it's not a race. race. <laughs> Nobody said it was a race. You get a bonus for time. <laughs> well, let's have a look at them. Look at these. That's beautiful. In a matter of moments, outside the back door, they look marvellous. Now, what I normally do is to put a pot feet underneath so the water can drain through. When you're watering them. Exactly. So you can either put them on the pot feet or. You can use corks. Oh, I don't have any of those. Just underneath of those. <laughs> if you've Where got a lot I get of pots, one of those? My house. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then have... So now we've got uh, over this side oh. as well. It's not I know, just I about uh, flowers. Oh, hang on, I'm meant to keep. Well, you can, here we are. Here we are. Take, right, take those right, over right. there. So I've got a herb selection here. I just thought you might tease them out of the pots and put them in to show how. Because your own bay leaves are lovely, aren't they? Yes, they are. I mean, bays are pretty good if you're cooking curries or, or you're doing stews. They work really well. So you can literally crop the leaves on your, from your kitchen windowsill um, on the outside and in. Oh, he's really going there. there. These little rosemary here, grab that rosemary. That's perfect for lamb. We've got thyme in there that's great for Dad, uh, chicken. <laughs> I mean, that, that pot's just gone over there. It's not sorry, a competition. Sorry, mate. sorry. <laughs> And you made it a competition. <laughs> Hang on, no, am I... you're competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Can you let it go? I'm 
And they will all grow if I put pack those too tightly, really. They, they, they will. I mean, the key thing is you are cropping as you go, and they will eventually get bigger than the container That's and so you sorry. plant them out afterwards. But for something right with rosemary, for your lamb, thyme for your chicken, then you've got the mint, that's for your pims, and also for stews mm. and curries the bay. In a matter of moments, you've got something that not only looks good, but it's great to eat too. And if you take bits off this, you won't kill it by keep using it. No, no. I, I think you just take. I take the young tips out, yeah. stab a, a hole into a leg of lamb, and I and force that in and in. roast that. That's gorgeous. Yummy. Thank you. That was Thank lovely. You. You're really welcome. Thank you very much.